They are the lifeline of the American economy. No matter the size of their load, businesses depend on the items in their cargo hold. As a matter of fact, there's an estimated 3.5 million truckers across the country working flat out to keep stores and businesses stocked while concerned Americans ride out the COVID-19 storm. But like most of us, truck drivers have had to adjust to certain things during these trying times. Now, almost every driver I spoke with shied away from actually going on camera, citing clearance from their respective corporate offices. But off camera? Well, one of the major concerns for long haul drivers anyway is finding a hot meal. And when they do, it's costing them just a little bit more than it used to. As a matter of fact, one trucker on a delivery stretch from Miami to Rochester, New York told me he paid $10 for a burger and fries at one New Jersey rest stop. Now, truck drivers can make up to $90,000 a year, but for some drivers who deliver non-essential goods, well, their hours are being cut back. One driver told me his company has cut his hours from 40 to 32 hours a week, and while he is still getting benefits, he believes that the longer the situation continues, that his job will probably be in jeopardy. Somewhere along the New Jersey Turnpike, I'm Phil Andrews, New Jersey News Network.